So the circuit is uh, drawn behind me here and uh, I did everything for 9 volts but this circuit works in a pretty large voltage range uh, all the way from 5 volts at least up to 12 volts no problem. So the first thing I did I put a humongous 220 microfarad capacitor in here just to stabilize the voltage a little bit especially if you have uh, 9 volt batteries in these uh, cheap leads you know they they uh, really have quite a bit of resistance and inductance of course if you have any uh, any kind of variation in, in the voltage draw like here in this amplifier you know as the amplitude goes up your current draw goes up and so on you really want to make sure you get a stable voltage supply so uh, next on this is an electrolytic microphone that i'm using here uh, or i guess americans call it condenser mic and uh, this 10k resistor right here provides a little bit of electricity for it because the way this works it does need a, a voltage supply um, if you use a dynamic microphone you can still use this uh, preamp but you want to leave this 10k resistor out then we're coupling uh, we're ac coupling our uh, audio signal here uh, through the 0.1 microfarad capacitor and depending on what the bottom frequency that you like to capture is you may want to make that one a little bit larger but i really was just interested in voice and since i was going into a, a double sideband transmitter afterwards anyway uh, i really didn't worry all too much about the uh, the frequency response because it's gonna sound uh, funny anyway so here we have a very simple transistor amplifier, 10K resistor right here on the collector, then a 220K resistor to bias the, uh, the base a little bit. And uh, I didn't put a name between this transistor here because pretty much any type works. Um, I used a BC548, uh, but any like 2N3904 or your 2N2222, uh, anything uh, really any NPN transistor works for this just fine so that's really it and we're coupling out our uh, amplified signal here from the collector using another 0.1 microfarad capacitor to the output so and uh, in another video I'm gonna show you the double sideband modulator and we're not gonna worry about it in this video but uh, let's move over to the workbench and have a look at how I put this together and maybe hook it up to an oscilloscope so down here we have the cute little circuit we got the big cap here for voltage stabilization and the uh, 10k resistor that provides the uh, supply voltage for the uh, microphone coupling cap a little amplifier right here another coupling cap coming from the collector output and uh, going to the output which is connected to the oscilloscope lead here um, as you can see, there's nothing really special about it, but what I always try to do in circuit designs, even as simple as this, if I take this lead off, you can see that I have a bunch of connectors on here, even here directly at the collector. They are um, for exactly this, to connect anything to it, be it a probe or my supply leads or anything. I don't like soldering cables directly on, uh, on my circuits. I do not like uh, having probes connected to uh, any legs of the uh, of the uh, parts that I put in my circuit anything like that I always try to make sure that my designs have a lot of these terminals that I can hook up to uh, if I need it and I really do this excessively on uh, my designs there's almost any point in my circuit that's important in any way has a test point of some sort anyway now let's uh, move up and look at the oscilloscope screen here i got my lacroix hdo 4k hooked up here and as you can see as i'm talking the uh, waves start moving and if i move my finger over the microphone you'll see even bigger spikes as far as the voltage level that we have out is concerned we have 200 millivolts per division you can see it's at least in the 400 millivolt range and i'm talking from quite a distance this is probably a good meter or about three feet away from the microphone uh, if i get closer as you can see it gets a whole lot bigger real fast mm, but anyway that's this little microphone amplifier circuit